Welcome, Waffle Wolfettes, to my Lego Sonic the Hedgehog Green Hill Zone real-time build. Now, in a previous video, we constructed this area right here, which was a little bit tedious because there was a few pieces that we needed to add stickers to, and we also had to construct this loop-de-loop, -loop, and there was a few unique pieces that made it a little bit tedious to do. But we finished that up in the previous video, and we also got another Chaos Crystal to add to Sonic's little collection over here, and I think it was the blue one, if I remember correctly. So today, we are going to be doing bag number four, and by the looks of it, we are going to be doing quite a few random miscellaneous things today because there are lots of different colourful bits in this bag. So we're most likely going to be constructing maybe some of the things that go on top of this loop-de-loop. -loop, maybe some of the other little like TV screens and the health bar for Sonic. Stuff like that. So this one should be a fun one today. We should get quite a few unique things done. So let's get straight into things. Now um, it's relatively warm today. And because I'm going to be sitting here doing this probably for the next hour or hour plus, I've got my fan turned on at the moment. So if you do hear any humming in the background, I do apologise. It's probably beneficial that I do have my fan on because it's better that you guys and girls listen to my fan humming instead of all of the music that's going on right near my house at the moment because of the theme park that's still in my area. They constantly blare out music 24-7. Well, until about 11 o'clock at night and then they turn everything off until the next day. So, uh, <laughs> yes, it's, it's, all right, it's a right pain in the ass, Wolf Morphets. Right pain in the ass. Because they play basically the same few songs over and over again. I think it's literally music that is um, part of the rides. So it's just the same tune and the same song going over and over and over again. Oh, it's, a, oh, it's very annoying, it is. A couple of years ago, they had this like ride over there. Well, it was a long time ago. It was probably about 15 years ago. But they had this ride there, and I think it was like a bunch of planes. And uh, they just spun in a circle. I think it was more of a... Uh, more of a kid's ride than an adult ride. And uh, there was this weird tune that would keep playing. Something about, let's fly, let's fly. Some, some shit like that. And it wouldn't shut up. And I think the theme park was there for a good week. And I, I was starting to lose my shit, Wolf Morphess. I was starting to get very angry. <laughs> oh, dear. But thankfully, they've not got that ride there anymore. And it's just normal, like, pop music playing at the moment. But uh, not, not, like, proper pop music, like... A little bit of Taylor Swift or something like that. I mean, like, just just random made-up stuff. Probably stuff from, like, indie artists and stuff like that. Uh, looks like there's a lot of those little pieces in this bag. Yeah, looks like we're going to have to do a bunch of that checkerboard stuff again. So we're probably going to be building more of this base today. So this is most likely going to be getting a bit longer. Let me move. Where should I put this? Probably should just leave it where it is. Soon, this is not even going to fit on camera. Because <laughs> this, this looks like it's going to be a relatively long build. Not so much high, but just very long. Okay. Alright. So, I mean, look how colourful everything is. All right, so what are we building then? I think the fan might have uh, blew the page over. Yeah, it did. God, don't start doing that, fan. Don't start blowing my booklet. <laughs> Leave me alone, okay? Just keep me cool, but don't blow anything away. And don't blow any of my Lego pieces away. I've got a little... I don't know if I showed this in episode one, but I've got a little uh, a little remote for my fan. That's the uh, make of the fan right there. It was, I think it was a £90 fan, but I think I got money off because it was like a deal. It was during the heat wave. So Argos was like, you know what? We're going to make money off of people because we know they're sweating their balls off. But they were giving me a deal, so it worked out for me. I got it for like 80 or 70 something like that. It's got, it's got a few good features, but it definitely ain't worth the price, Wolf and Wolf. Let's just get yourself a generic desk fan, but a big version. One of those box ones that you find on the bottom of like factory floors. Get yourself one of those for like 40 quid. Don't, don't waste your time with this. Other than the remote, it's not worth it. The remote's good for when you're in bed, but... Other than that, absolute waste of time. <laughs> All right, let's actually start bloody building something. Okay, and I need a little, little grey bit. It looks like we're building. What is this actually? I don't know if we might be building Doctor Eggman's 
Um, I don't know if we're building Dr. Eggman's ship by the looks of it. Not too sure. Could be. That's probably Tom Wolf messaging me. Tell you what, Wolf Wolf, it's Tom Wolf hasn't stopped spamming me. All bloody day. <laughs> he's, uh, he's playing the absolutely legendary Day is Gone at the moment. And uh, he's updating me with basically every single thing that he does. Which is good. Because if it keeps him playing the game instead of fighting games 24-7, that is a benefit. I don't mind listening to him talk about other games. Because when he talks about fighting games, I just, I just don't care. <laughs> I don't care about fighting games. I don't mind them. But uh, I barely play them. So when he talks about them, it's like, well, what, what can I say? I don't play them. I've got no comment. <laughs> but when he talks about Days Gone, I've got, I've got quite a bit I can say. It's just a shame that that playthrough was ruined on my channel. Because I uploaded it back in 2019. And this was when I was trying to build up a stockpile of videos for the six weeks holiday. Like I managed to achieve this year for the first time ever. And now I'm doing second videos. Well, th th these are not second videos. These are part of the August upload. But I'm doing double uploads at the moment because I had so many videos done. I, I was an absolute legend this year, Wolf Morvets. But back in 2019, despite how I was feeling mentally, I also managed to do it. Get enough videos done for August. But um, I uh, ended up accidentally deleting them all like an absolute prat. So uh, I ended up losing a good chunk of my uh, Days Gone playthrough. Not not all of it, but I'd say a good a good quarter. I did manage to get a few um, episodes back. You know, when you have those like apps and stuff and those programs you can download that try and get stuff back after you've deleted them from your recycle bin. I did download one of those. I think it was called Recover, but not spelt correctly. It was like Recover, but spelt wrong. And uh, that, that worked okay. It got, it got back a few of my Days Gone episodes, including my final episode, which was very nice. And it also got back the video where I took on the uh, Sawmill Horde, which is the biggest horde in the game. So, uh, thankfully I did get a few things back, but yeah, I still wasn't very happy. Because getting that many videos done that year, especially with how I was feeling, like you guys and girls will know, it was very difficult. And I managed to do it, and then I lost them all. I think that was the, the final straw that year. That was literally the final straw. After that, I was just like, yeah, I, I was done. <laughs> I was finished. That finished me, that did. So disheartening. So disheartening to know you finally did it. Finally had enough videos done for the whole of August for the first time in the entirety of your YouTube career. And then you've gone and deleted them like an idiot. God, wow, what a pain in the ass that year was. <laughs> but never mind. It's in the past now, Wolf Morvet. It's in the past. We managed to do it this year, so that's all good, in it? Got to be honest, no idea what we're building at the moment, but I'm. I've... Where's the box? Let's have a look on the. Uh, let's have a look on the box. One second, let's get this on here. Let's have a look. Uh... Oh no. Oh no, we're not building. Uh, we're not building. No, we're not building. Um, Eggman's ship. We are building what looks like. Some sort of weird cannon with a face on it. On the app, with, there's like a bomb inside it with a face on it. That's what we're building at the moment. Uh, hopefully, you can all see what I'm doing. Getting uh, pretty low on space. I can't zoom the camera out anymore. That's as far as it zooms out. This camera's got a very good zoom on it, but. It's not good for when you're um, trying to do things where you need it to zoom out more. But this camera was good because I bought this really. It was purely for uh, Wolf Quest. And having a very good zoom for something like that where you're trying to find animals far away. Obviously having a good zoom is a big benefit. But for stuff like this, it's a pain in the ass. It is a good camera though. It's a very good camera. I can't remember the make of it. It's a Sony make. But I can't remember what it is. Like what the... Uh, what the actual model is. So I uh, can't actually tell you. If you want to know, just let me know in the comments and I will uh, search me emails for a receipt because <laughs> I don't even have the box for it anymore. And I will uh, let you know. So if you want to know what camera I've got, just let me know in the comments and I will check me email. I probably won't respond to you for about a, for a week or so because I always take a while to reply. Not because I'm rude, it's because I'm always busy. But I do reply eventually. You normally get like 
ten or so notifications, and then you know, yep, Bee Wolf is replying. Okay, did I do that right? You guys go see what I'm doing. There's so many pieces in the way. There we go. Okay. Uh, now I need some sloped pieces. Hopefully that fan ain't aggravating any of you. I suppose it could be relaxing hearing me talk about random bullshit and then uh, listening to the fan in the background. Hopefully this video is a bit more relaxing than the previous one because I was I was getting I was getting quite passionate about a few things in the previous video. I didn't even bother recording a second episode after I was done with the previous video because I was going to do this the same day as I did that video. But I thought, nah, I'm clearly in one of those moods where uh, <laughs> it's not going to be a very chill video. So I just decided not to make any more. I was getting very passionate about a few things, especially when it came to Twitter. So I was like, yep, yeah, yeah, we better not record any more today. I'm going to end up saying something and everyone's going to get the ump with me. So I thought, fuck it, I just won't record any more videos. <laughs> Not that I care if people uh, don't like what I say. Don't give a damn. Uh, have I skipped a bit? Like that. And then... So we're only doing this side first. Looks like we are. Well, we better follow the instructions. Don't want to skip ahead. Hey, I can see you. I can see you moving, book. Keep bloody still. Stop it. <laughs> Stop moving. I don't know if you can all see it. Yeah, you can all bloody see it. Look, look at that. Look at that fucking page. So desperately wants to flip over. I've got it on the lowest setting. There ain't no lower settings. What is that? Uh, is it that? Stop moving. I think that'd be a pretty good competition, actually. Give somebody a very big Lego set to do. Not too big. Because uh, it's going to be very tedious to do anyway. But give them a relatively big Lego set. May maybe one about this size. A thousand pieces or so. And then put a massive fan in front of them. And whoever can build the Lego set the quickest wins. And make sure it's a unique Lego set. So nobody's got the chance to practice before they come in. You know, no well-known Lego sets. Make it a unique set that's been made purely for that competition. I think that would be a pretty good uh, video. Mr Beast, you like making videos like that? Get on it, mate. Get on it. I reckon it'll get some good views. Whoever can build a Lego set in a wind tunnel or whatever in the quickest amount of time wins 500 grand. Unfortunately, I'm poor and I can't give anyone 500 grand. But I'll, I'll, I would happily give someone 500 grand. I really would. As long as I can pay my bills, Wolf and Wolfettes, I really don't give a single damn about money. I don't. You know, if I can, if I can pay the bills and I can... Um, uh afford to get me video games for YouTube and that and also for my own pleasure. I'm fine, I'm fine Wolf Morphe. So I don't I don't need mansions and Lamborghinis and all that. I really don't. It just it I don't know, I just I'm not bothered about it at all. Just financially secure, that's all I want to be. Where I won't have to worry about bills and I can afford if I want to get a bunch of collector's editions I can. And then I'm solid. That's all I, that's all I really care about. No idea what this is supposed to be. I'll show you what we're making in a second. You probably can't see it. It's a very small piece. I think, I think I'm doing this right. There is a very strong possibility that I'm not, though. 
But basically that's what we've done so far. Room's getting pretty dark though, that's not good. I've got I've got a light box on, so we should be alright. Uh I'm recording this pretty late. It's uh, it's ten past eight at the moment, so yeah, the sun will be uh, going away soon. All right, we've got to flip it around there. Then we need two little black pieces with hooks on the end. over there actually I'm gonna need that. Uh is that it? Yes. Okay. Now where do we put that piece? Okay, it goes underneath. going to be slotting in some what looks to be yellow horns. Man, they definitely they, they definitely made this this set was definitely made for kids this one. Like they, they did not want adults doing this one. Man, I feel sorry for any kids out there that have just got really big hands because there are some kids out there that have got some massive hands and Oh, I've already found the gems. <laughs> I found this package gems. This time it's a turquoise. Oh, lovely. And once again, they've given me two. But yeah, God have mercy on those poor kids with big hands because they're not going to have a good time with this. There you go. That's what the back of it looks like. An absolute crazy shizzle going on at the moment. Okay, now we're going to be doing the other side. I mean, we could have done both sides when we did the other side, but whatever. We'll do it now. It's all good. I think we're doing the exact same thing on this side. And I need to add one of those like trumpet looking things. I don't, know, I don't know what this is supposed to be. It looks like a cannon on the box, but maybe it's like some sort of little vehicle or something. If I played the game, I'd probably know what it is. So go inside of. Good thing about all of these uh, bits and bobs being multicolored, it's very easy to find the bit you need. Yes. Oh, also, uh, I don't know when I mentioned this. I think I mentioned it whilst I was building this Lego set. I might have mentioned it in one of my. 10 billion videos I've made over the last couple of weeks, but um, I've mentioned that I was uh, having issues with Google Ads, where I couldn't use Google Ads anymore to uh, advertise on YouTube, like my channel and stuff. And uh, the reason that I was having that issue, because it kept telling me to verify my identity, but it wanted me to verify my organisation. And I've not got an organisation, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm a, a thing, a, a um, Independent. I don't. I'm not part of any organisations or anything like that. I don't have no businesses or companies or anything like that. But for some reason, uh, I was being told to verify that I was because I guess when my account was set up, which was all the way back in 2014, I must have selected something wrong or I don't know what's happened. But basically, my account type was organisation, and it wasn't supposed to be. It was supposed to be individual. So um, I managed to message Google. Thought they was ignoring me, <laughs> but for the first time ever. 
I actually did have an email go to my spam. I don't never have any like legitimate emails go to my spam. That's never happened to me. They always say check your spam, but I've never had to do that ever in my life. This is the first time it actually did go to my spam for some reason. But um, yeah, I contacted them and they, uh, I basically had to give them permission uh, so that they can go into my account and switch it to individual. And uh, then I had to prove my identity with like passport and all that stuff. And it's now an individual account. So I can now use it to advertise my videos again. One thing I will say though, now that it, because it's, it's being done to be more transparent so that people know who is advertising and stuff like that. So now when you hover over my advert, it says my full name and what country I'm from, which, okay. But everybody knows my name's David. So, well, it says my full name and my second name as well. Not that that really matters, but, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Oh, there's stickers. Hey, does this actually shoot? I don't think it does. No, I don't think it does. But yeah, uh... Oh, oh flipping hell, Sonic's been attacked. <laughs> Look on the bottom of the instructions. Sonic's been hit and he's dropped a bunch of, uh... Down in the bottom. Sonic's been hit and he's dropped a bunch of rings. <laughs> this, is, this is a great manual, it is. It really is like you're playing the game. It's, it's, it's very clever, this is. They're very creative at Lego. Obviously. I mean, I wouldn't be able to make one of these. I wouldn't be able to make the blueprints out of these. I could barely do anything in Minecraft. Okay. I don't know why we have to put the face on two pieces. Alright, so you're basically going to put the face on two of these. Two stickers on these. And you can obviously take them off and switch around what face you want. So we'll do both stickers because that's what we need to do. I guess we'll have the I guess we'll have the angry sticker showing. Hey, don't you start moving again. We was doing well. Don't start. We gotta use those two at the bottom. Bloody light box. <laughs> Making them glow. Okay. That's the best you're getting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lego, but you really need to stop with these bloody stickers. Like, could you imagine a kid trying to put these stickers on? I'm a 30-year-old bloke, and I'm even having trouble doing it. Imagine an impatient kid doing this. Well, we already know what the kids will do anyway. He'd be, Daddy, can you put the sticker on for me? No, I bloody can't. It's your Lego set. Do it yourself. Man, if my kid ever asks me, oh, no, I'll put this one on very wonky. Can I get off? My kid ever asks me to do Lego stickers. No way. I will die for you, my child. I will teach you anything you need to be taught. I will raise you like the absolute legend that you are. But I will never do any stickers for you. <laughs> I will wipe your butt when you're a child. I will change your nappies. But I will never, ever, ever help you with a damn Lego sticker. No way. That's too far. Oh, you can literally only stick one on. Oh, well, I've gone with that one. As you can see, it's it's uh, very straight. <laughs> it's not wonky at all. Shut up, Wolf and Wolfettes. It's not wonky. You're obviously drunk. I might as well put this other one back in. Oh, I'll leave it over there for now. This is the other one. Oh, put that over there. Okay, hopefully no more of that. Alright, by the looks of things, it looks like we're going to be building... Oh, we're going to be building a big old platform now. And a lot more of that checkerboard stuff again. Where should I put it? I'll put this up. Where should I put it there? There you go, you can all see it. I don't even know what it is. I think it's some sort of cannon. Okay, I should be good at this. We've done this about five, six times now. <laughs> Literally the exact same... 
configuration of bricks, the same checkerboard pattern. Yep. And all my bits have gotten muddled together. Great. I was going to talk about something in a previous video and I forgot what it was. Because I literally said, you know what, Wolf, Wolf, we can talk about this thing. And then I never actually spoke about it. I said I'll save it for the next video. Just because it was a relatively long thing. And I think I was getting close to the last episode. So I didn't end up talking about it. I can't even remember what it was now. What was it? Oh, no, no, never mind. I've remembered. Um... Am I doing this wrong? Yes, I am. Yeah, we nearly balls that up completely. So uh, you guys and girls will know if you've been on my channel for a while. And I, I might have spoke about this before in my house flipper playthrough. Because that seems like the kind of playthrough I would have spoke about this. But I've said that I've been saving for a very, very, very long time. Originally with a, with a previous... In a previous relationship, we were going to get a house together and all that good stuff. But, um, yep, shit happens, as always. And uh, all my savings have just sort of been left because they weren't used for a house. And I'm not going to be moving out on my own any or anytime soon because I can't afford it. But uh, one thing I've been tempted to do, because I've got savings, and I've got an okay amount. Not a lot, obviously, because I'm a, I'm a cleaner. But what I, does, what I think I will do is I think I might try and find a house that is relatively close to where I live now, or somewhat close. Won't be able to be too close, because you're never going to find anything cheap near London. But uh, try and find a house relatively close by. Well, it won't even be a house, it'd be more like a flat or something. And uh, one that's cheap, completely run down, you know, even if there's no plumbing, no electrics, none of it, I don't care. Just a, just a shell, basically. Big old pile of shit, but very cheap, you know, like hopefully like 50, 60 grand or something like that. If they had it around that price, I would be able to get it right now with a mortgage. I'd be able to get it right now. And then if I could find one and I keep saving for a bit longer, and then I buy it, and then I get a very, very low, you know, mortgage repayment, you know, something very low, like a couple of hundred a month or something, so then I've still got a big chunk of money left over, then basically I can just uh, build it up over time, you know, work on it, all that good stuff. Maybe go there on weekends, save up more money, and then when I've got extra money, I can go there on weekends and uh, or hire people to do things like, because I'm not an electrician, obviously, so hire electricians to get that kind of stuff sorted, get a plumber to sort things out. I'll do the things that I can do, because I'm pretty good with my hands, ladies, but yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty good with my hands, so uh, I, can, I can get a lot of that stuff done myself, but there'll be other bits, obviously, I just can't do, don't know how to. Or maybe no one in my family knows how to. So then I'll have to hire someone for that. And then I'll just build it up until it's livable. And then just move into it. I think that'd be a good idea, Wolf and Wolf. That's, I think it'd be a good idea. And then even, and even if I decide I don't want to live in it. I would have bought it for very cheap. I would have built it up. It, it might be worth a hundred grand after I'm done with it. Or maybe even more. And then I can sell it. And then go and get another house somewhere. So uh, I, I am very, 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 like almost definitely I will do this, tempted to do it. And on top of that, I think that would be pretty damn good because we can uh, yeah, we can make some videos out of it. I could bring you guys and girls there on the weekend and it'll basically be house flipper in real life. But I am really tempted to do it. Really tempted. Because I know that with my money, even with the savings I've got, I'm not going to be able to buy or a house with a mortgage or anything like that because I just don't have enough. But for a rundown, shitty old dump that looks like it's probably got the rats from uh, a Plague Tale Innocence living in it. And probably spiders the size of my head, which uh, then I'll just burn the place down anyway. But uh, if I can get a place like that, it'll be a hell of a lot cheaper. And then uh, I can just build it up, you know. Obviously it's a gamble, it's always a gamble. But it might be a gamble that pays off. I've had enough bad luck with more vets. I feel like this might be saying there's good luck for once. So I am tempted to do it. Obviously, if I do do it, you guys and girls will know because I'll talk about it in my videos. I always talk about random life stuff in the videos. Well, some things. Some things I don't talk about, but I talk about a lot of stuff. Very open with you guys and girls. 
since 2019 and I did my counselling and all that, I've become a, I've become a, well, I like to say a better human. Hopefully I've become a better human. Hopefully none of you watch my videos now and think, man, when did Beatwolf become such a wanker? <laughs> Hopefully none of you think that, but if, if you do, let me know in the comments. I don't mind. I don't mind if you think I'm a wanker. I apologise if you do. I definitely don't mean to uh, come across that way. But at the same time, if you think I'm a wanker for no apparent reason, then uh, you can go and fuck yourself. But if you do have a valid reason, feel free to share. I won't cry too much, I promise. Only a few tears. Okay. Right, now we need to put these dark brown ones on. I put these on first. I was doing it all upside down. If I didn't notice... This would have been a this would have been a nightmare. Cause taking this apart would have been a bitch. Oh, I nearly stupid B wolf. I think I might be color blind as well as blind. Okay. Now I need to get four of these. How are we putting these on? One. Two. Three and four. Okay. All right. That's what we've done so far. It's just going to end up being probably another piece of base that's going to connect to uh, here. And by the looks of it, we are going to continue on with the little checkerboard. to go up by a a a stop it you flipping stay still i don't even know why i got the fan on to be honest it's only really hitting my elbow i can only feel it like over like well basically where this booklet is flapping <laughs> so i can feel it on the elbow nowhere else so all i'm doing is probably annoying you guys and gals hopefully you can't hear it it's not too loud but it's blocking out the uh, music anyway, so that's a good thing. Both for me and for you. Okay. Now we're going to get two of these. Lovely. And then I think it's some more of these little ones again. I gotta be honest with you. I think I did prefer building the Lego tall neck. It felt like it was a bit more unique. There, I think with this one, there's a lot of similar parts where you kind of do the same thing a bit too often for my liking. And and the worst thing about it is they're always little pieces as well. The Lego tall neck every single day, like every single bag, was completely different. So yeah, I think I, I think I did prefer that one. I do like this one though, and I like how it looks. Just the building part of it is more of a pain in the ass, and not, I wouldn't say it's as enjoyable. If I had to review it, I'd give it a 7, I'd say. It's held up by it with some points, because every bag's got a new Chaos Crystal in it. It's like you're going on a little adventure. You've got a little Sonic down there, who's telling me I'm halfway through. <laughs> so, yeah, little things like that. It's, it's got some nice touches to it. I like the little Sonic model and the crab and that. It's like, Mate, Matt, you may I'll give it an 8. Or a 7.5 or an 8, I'd give it. If I had to review it. Okay. I think that's what I was supposed to do. Well, 
This is what we've done so far. there and some more and we're probably going to be building up the checkerboard a bit higher again now oh yeah this is getting oh, flipping now oh, this is getting a lot higher to make sure we do this right. So we need two little dark brown ones first. Yeah, you get what you think you're doing. And then we cap this one off with a little brown one. And that's gonna be going near the front. to do the opposite thing after. Now we need to get two little light ones and then we're going to have to cap that off with a dark brown turdy one. I don't think I'm going to be able to do one of my uh, little little cinematic shots of this figurine like I normally do with my little spinny turntable thing because I think this thing's just going to be too long. I mean, I'll give it a go. <laughs> Might break it when I try, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. I don't think it'll be getting much longer than this. I mean, this is going to attach onto there. Actually, yeah, I think it does get a bit longer. Yep, yeah, I'm looking. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, I don't think it does, actually. No, it looks like we're building... Yeah, it looks like there's going to be a flower that goes on this bit. A big flight. It looks like a, some sort of deadly flower we're going to be putting on here. So, yeah, don't, I, yeah, it's not going to be much longer. So, we might be able to put it on my turntable and spin it around and have a good look at it. Hopefully, anyway. Um, where's that? Is that it? Yes. We've done that. And then that goes there. And then just gotta go along with little single blocks now. It's so many multicolored pieces. You just sort of like, well, why? Why are they? Why are they these colours? I'm guessing it's because it makes it a bit easier for you to see what you're doing. But yeah, I don't know. Feels pretty pointless. show you all what it looks like in a second. Hopefully you can all see. I 
is what it looks like at the moment. All, all of that colour is worthless. The, the green bit might be used for the, for the grass, but that pink thing will probably be completely hidden. So you kind of wonder, well, what was the point? Actually, I'm looking at the next bit, and yeah, it's about to get completely hidden right now. <laughs> now we're going to stick a big chunky blue bit over it. Red bit. And we're building up this side once again. I don't think we'll have to do this anymore in the next two bags. I think that's going to be all about building uh, Dr. Is, is it Dr. Eggman or is he. It's Dr. Eggman, isn't it? And when does he become Robotnik? Is Robotnik the same person as Dr. Eggman? I, I, I don't bloody know. I should know. I've seen the Sonic movie and I have played one of the games, but for some reason I don't bloody know. <laughs> I should know. I'm, a, I'm supposed to be a hardcore gamer. What are you doing, Beowulf? Okay, so a light brown one goes at the front. Okay, looks like we're doing it right at the moment. And we're gonna grab is it that? Okay. Two white pieces over here. So we're getting relatively close to doing all of the uh, the fun stuff, the uh, the detail stuff. Instead of building the base, the building the base is all right, but it's, it's when you get, when you get to the uh, top part and you're building all the all the cool stuff on the top, like all of this greenery and that tree and the loop, things like that. That's the that's the fun bit. Looks like we're getting close to that bit now. That bloody time. I feel like I've been very slow. I don't know. I don't know how long I've been recording, but I feel like this has took me longer than it should have. Not that there's any rush. If it took us five hours just to do bag one, who gives a damn? But still, I feel like I should have made more progress. There's a warning on here. What's that supposed to mean? Look at this. Like, like, watch your eye or something? What is... What do I even have to make? It's like something... Unless there's like a part that can like ping off or something. Not too sure. Looks like we've got to make something separate at the moment. Right. Put that there a second. So what we got to do with this? This bit's a bit... We're building this upside down, whatever we're making at the moment. It looks like we're making some sort of seesaw. Not too sure, though. Putting on these little grey things. I've got to bring this back over now. Oh. 
Oh, got some light, got a little light. That's what a little diving board going on over here. Oh, that is fun. That, that's some oddly satisfying stuff right there. Keep still, you. Starting to lose my patience with you, book. Carry on, mate, you'll be grounded. Okay, we're filling up this gap now. Yeah. to place four of these circular looking pieces. Rounded pieces, I should say. Look, look about uh, making a little skate ramp or something. Would make sense. I reckon, I reckon uh, if Sonic was going to be doing something in his free time when he's not saving the world, I reckon Sonic would probably be a hardcore skater. I could very much see someone like Sonic just grabbing a skateboard and doing some wicked flips. Thinking about it, actually, I mean, by the time you see this video, they should already be on PlayStation Plus. Well, PlayStation Essential, I should say now. But um, I think they're, at, they're adding Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2, the remake. They're adding that to PlayStation Essential. Uh, when this video is live, it will already be on PlayStation Essential. And I think they should be leaving relatively soon. So if you don't have them yet, go and get them. Go and get them, because they should be leaving soon. So I'll make sure you grab them before they leave the uh, store. Okay. God, man, they really, really want me to keep using these little pieces. We're getting, we're getting running out on it. We're start slowly running out of them though, so uh, we won't have to worry much more. Soon we have no, none left. So what I might do after this Wolf Wobbits. I'm recording this on a set on a on a Friday actually. Um, and as you all know, Friday and Saturday they are the rest days for me. No weight lifting. Um, and I also eat whatever the hell I want to eat instead of eating very healthily and making sure I get me protein and that. These two days I eat what I want. And we'll go and have a massive fucking tub of ice cream, Wolf Wobbits. Not a whole tub of ice cream, that'd probably kill me. <laughs> oh man, I don't think I could handle that much dairy. But um, I'm going to definitely go and get some goddamn Kelly's Vanilla Ice Cream. I don't know if it belongs to Kelly. But it doesn't belong to Kelly anymore. It's mine. So I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to be getting some of that Wolf and Wolf X. Because I need some damn ice cream. Because I'm feeling boiling hot at the moment. Don't know why. It's only 28 degrees in my room. And compared to what it's been recently, that's nothing. But uh, I'm feeling hot. So... I'm going to get myself some bloody ice cream. Go get yourself some ice cream, Wolf and Wolfers. In fact, pause the video and go and get yourself some ice cream. Unless you're trying to lose weight or you're dieting right now, then I apologise for tempting you. Don't do it. Don't be a fatty, right? Don't do it. Uh, what are we doing now? Let me do this piece first. What, what is that? Make sure I do that bit first, otherwise I might balls everything up. But it looks like we're about to start building up the green area now. I don't know what the hell this flappy bit's supposed to be. I'm assuming it's some sort of weapon. Oh, that is fun. Look at look how it's uh, reflecting my light box. Looks like it's flashing. <laughs> Sweet. Especially if I do it quick like that. Probably, probably blinding you all. Do apologise. Ugh. I was supposed to have started rendering another video before I started building this and I completely bloody forgot to do it and it's going to now be too late in the day 
in the evening, I should say, for me to be able to uh, render that video today now. It's the final episode of Stray. So, uh, yeah, god damn it. <laughs> god damn it. I set this table up and it takes up hot, like three quarters of my room. So I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not going to bother squeezing past this just yet to get to my PC. I'm just going to uh, put all the Lego stuff on here ready for the video and then I'll do it after. And then I guess I set my stuff up and just started recording. <laughs> Completely forgot to go and do it. <sighs> oh, well, never mind. I've already got like four or five uploaded to YouTube anyway, so it's no hurry for it to be rendered and uploaded. I was going to say, is that all we've done in this video? But we also made that little red thing there as well. So we've done a bit more than I thought. <laughs> Still should have been a lot bloody more though. that go I've got no idea how the hell do I place that one so we'll put in a dark brown one there And another light brown one. And a dark brown one in there. I don't know where this other piece is supposed to go. I can't really see that picture very well. Everything's too bloody dark. I don't know if we have to actually put that whip. One minute. Oh no, there we go. Finally worked it out. little trap door thing. Okay, by the looks of it, we're now making something else. This one looks like it's going to be a bit of a nightmare, whatever it is. Leave that there for now. What the hell is this supposed to? Got a lot of uh, random pieces for this bit. Little blue cap by the looks of it, a little blue lid. Sticking it up in there. Lovely. Nice fit that is.
Okay, it's very loose at the moment. Big old red lid. And how? What the hell are we doing with this? Oh, it's like a little. We're going to put this on top of that. And then that bottom bit moves like this. So it's like a little like springboard or something, I guess. Yeah. See? And now with this lever. <laughs> like a little uh, little jumpy pad or something. Probably something in the game. Like I, said, like I said, I ain't played the bloody game. And there's a once again, there's a warning for uh, smacking yourself in the eye with something. I've got no idea why it even says that. I don't even know what you're supposed to be smacking yourself in the eye with. Nothing comes off. But, alright. Whatever you say, Lego. Now it looks like we're just building up some like little uh, shrubs or little bits of greenery. I think. I'll flip it around there. But yeah, we still got to make the um, the flower as well. Just these little pattern ones that we've done on basically the whole thing. This is going to look very nice when it's done. And now we're going to make that flower. Sort of reminding me of that tree we did from Horizon. It's got a branch. goes into there then a leaf and then some sort of little cap and another leaf Connects on to I've got no idea what that's supposed to connect to. Oh, like that, okay. Sweet. There we go. Got like this little green tree. Yep, and now we're making the flower. Well, I think it's a flower. It looks like a bloody circular saw. It basically looks like a flower that's going to murder you. I 
And now we need to connect it. To this. There we go. Oh, flip it. Look at the size of this bad boy. And I'm guessing the next bit is Sonic's blue crystal. Of course it is. <laughs> Alright, we won't need the book anymore. Let's give Sonic his blue crystal. I'm not going to hold him up this time because otherwise I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, Sonic, you lazy shit. What are you going to sleep for? I'm the one doing all the work. Go. Got his turquoise crystal. Okay. Let's make a thumbnail. Get me out of the way. You don't want to see me. And then there you go, Wolf and Warfare. So in this video, we've built this section right here with this little like bouncy pad. And this very dangerous, spinny um, sunflower that looks like if you touch it, Sonic would probably lose a few rings. And you don't want to be losing no rings. So I'm guessing he's supposed to bounce on that so he can jump over it and then not end up bloody dead. And we made this thing as well, which I think is a cannon. But that's probably going to fit on something up here, I think. Probably in part five. But yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf More Vets. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, fourth part of the Lego Sonic. And next time we will do bag five. Yeah, like, share. And join the pack today.